Cambrell, thank you so much for that. Okay, folks, whether you are coming right off the sandy beaches or exploring the seawall in Galveston, there is an island mainstay we cannot miss. Oh, no, it is time to grab a cold one at Galveston Island Brewing here with all the beer and the knowledge. We have owner and brewmaster Mark Deloso along with Charday Vanderstrand. Thanks so much for being here. Yes, thank you. We're so excited to talk about Galveston and the, the blossoming craft beer industry that's coming down there. That really is blossoming because that's a, it's kind of a new and up and coming, right? It is, it is, it is, absolutely. And Galveston now has three craft breweries. It's very exciting. Uh, so whenever you're coming down to Galveston, you definitely want to stop and check out the craft beer scene. Um, the newest one is Devil in the Deep Brewing. So when you're down on the Strand, you definitely want to go over there. There's also a couple really craft beer dominant bars that are down there. Uh, Stuttgart and Tavern on the Strand. And also Brew Bre Brews Brothers, which we all frequent a lot. Um, and then there's also, if you're on the beach, you know, you have brew, uh, Beerfoot Brewing. Um, and they are the oldest brewery in Galveston. And then there is, of course, Galveston Island Brewing. Love it. Well, yes. yes. And what's cool about this whole concept is people like Mark DeLasso. I, I understand you were like doing home brewing for friends and then you realized, hey, this is actually kind of good. That's right, Derek. I gave away a lot of beer before I got a chance to sell it. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. Okay, what do you... You okay, want to so crack we brought open some beers? yeah, we brought a couple All great right. beers for you guys. So, Derek, for you, we're gonna have our summer. Look at that. That was our summer seasonal nice Hefe A, and this is a traditional German Hefeweizen. Yes. There's wonderful banana notes in here. And keep in mind, we don't add any fake or real fruit to here. You get that from the way we use the special yeast strain, a 700 old year old yeast strain, and the way we use it in the brewing industry. Oh, that smells and then really also good. Smells, I can smell it. it. it smells That's like right. banana. It, it does. It. I can smell it. No fake or real fruit. And then for you, Courtney, <laughs> our famous tiki weed, our number one seller. You can't mm. go wrong. It's American wheat with coriander spice. And you're going to get a wonderful orange note in there, Courtney. And mm. that comes from the coriander spice. A lot of people think we add orange. Not the case. So mm. that cheers, is guys. Really, really good. 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 Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Galveston Island Brewing is really great. It's, it's good for the whole family as well. We have a it's playground fun. out front so mom can have a beer and, and enjoy the playground with the kids out there. That so. is awesome. All right, awesome. Mark and Charday, thanks so much for stopping by. And also thanks for the beer. Yeah. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. cheers, guys. And in the meantime, Galveston is filled with all kinds of rich history. Houston Life reporter Catherine Sordo went to explore some of it. You can't forget to stop by the Texas Seaport Museum and check out the 1877 historic landmark, Alyssa. She tells the story of immigration. Pelican Island, which is the island behind us, is where the uh, immigration station was located. So ships came here, immigrants came here. Much of the history of uh, the cultures uh, that are here in Texas got their start through Galveston. Galveston was considered the Ellis Island of the South, uh, the second largest immigration port in the United States at its time. And with that, it's time to walk next door and explore the inside of the exhibit built in 1990. Travel back in time as the Texas Seaport Museum highlights the Galveston Immigration Station, which saw over 50,000 people from all over Europe between 1906 and 1914. Admission includes self-guided tours, and you'll also have access to a theater presentation. An interesting hidden gem you might not have heard of yet is the self-guided tree sculptures tour, always open to the public. Whether you're walking, biking, or riding, there's a lot to see here. In 2008, Hurricane Ike covered most of the island, forcing sad goodbyes to so much of its beautiful tree canopy. However, years later, sculpture artists have replaced what Mother Nature attempted to destroy. One local resident made sure the sculpture in her front porch connected back to her home. One of the directors of The Wizard of Oz, his name was King Vider, or Vidor, was born in our downstairs bedroom, and his grandfather built the home. But we decided, in keeping with the history of the home and King Vider being a part of The Wizard of Oz, being one of the directors, that we would do the Tin Man in Toto to, to give him honor in, in that respect. And with that, we're off to see the wizard. Or not? Our next stop, the San Luis. Even the island's magnificent resorts have interesting stories to tell. It owes its breathtaking view to the military bunker on which it's built. The resort's foundation was built on top of Fort Crockett, a former government reservation started in 1897 and originally built as a defense installation to protect the city and harbor of Galveston. Fort Crockett's four batteries are still visible today. An interesting quick stop. Bring your camera and plan on spending about 15 minutes taking in the view. 
Now, have you ever heard of penguin art? It's the real deal. Spend the day inside the aquarium at Moody Gardens where you can meet a penguin. There's a special room for guests where you're able to get up close and personal to the most adorable penguin. From penguin masterpieces you can keep to the ultimate learning experience, this has to be at the top of your list. All aboard! With hats and sunnies in hand, a cool breeze, and a 50-minute cruise around the ship channel, we're ready to roll. We're gonna talk about some points of interest here. We're also gonna look for dolphins. And there they are, dolphins in Galveston. And they were sweet enough to put on quite the performance. All these stops are making me a little thirsty, but I know just the place to find a variety of cocktails. That great time out, or DTO as the locals call it, it's a casual yet sophisticated cocktail bar full of innovative, fresh, and delicious drinks. Enjoy a night at DTO, I promise you won't regret it. What's a trip without rum, right? If you're looking for the best variety of rum in tropical drinks, a stunning ocean view, and a party that goes all night, Rum Shack on the seawall is the perfect after dark destination. Those drinks look so delicious. So good. This beer is delicious, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we're back on now. Uh, Catherine, mm. thank you so much. Just kidding. Galveston always has something going on. And if you have not planned your Memorial Day weekend yet, we've got you covered. That's right. This Sunday, visit Stuart Beach to win some fantastic prizes. Families are welcome to go head-to-head -head in a series of competitions, including giant Jenga, sack races, and much more. All it's right. super fun. The events are free to the public and structured for a family of four. The family with the most points at the end of the day will receive, get this, a $500 gift card plus tickets to island attractions. Visit GalvestonChallenge.com if you would like to register. On well, Monday, May 28th, stop by Galveston's Naval Museum at Seawolf Park for a Memorial Day ceremony. Yeah, the American Undersea Warfare Center will honor our fallen servicemen and women starting at 12.30 p.m. A ceremony will include a presentation of the colors by the United States Marine Corps Color Guard, a performance of the National Anthem, a bagpipe performance of Song of Remembrance, and more. And that event, by the way, is free and open to the public. If you would like more details, please call 409-770-319. And if you'd like to start planning your next trip to the island, you can always check out galveston.com.